Hi everyone, this was shown on CNN moments ago. This is the office of a congressional member. Um, it's not said who. Let's first listen to what Chris Cuomo is saying here. Absolute turmoil. Where will it take us? This is what happened after. And by the way, we got lucky today in terms of what happened in that Capitol building. It could have been so much worse. Stay with CNN. Let's stop that and go back, okay? Because you spent a lot of let's, let's go back here and stop it. On this vote, not unlike what we watched. Let's go back a little bit further here, and then uh, it should start uh, within a few seconds. A little faster, and right about well there. Okay, let's we'll do it back again. Um, uh, let's go back here. Uh, okay, stop In there. Real time on the day that the Capitol was attacked. Okay. The White House is an absolute... All right, look at this, folks. This is the second pass. Look at the f files. Look at the papers on the ground. All right, Oops. this isn't a messy office. This was done. Look at what was went through. Fortunately, the books weren't put, but look at that. Look right there. Those are files. Now, it's fair to at least speculate that some of those files might be classified. And the other question is, what did other people run out of those offices with? This is clearly breaking and entering and theft of, of sealed documents because this is someone's private office they went and they pulled these files out and made a mess. One person came up out with uh, Nancy Pelosi's a letter that he showed to anybody, just talking crazily. But who knows what somebody else did that had a better idea of the value of what they were putting their hands on. This is an outrage, and for... This to be taken as lightly as it is, considering that this is the Congress, is ridiculous. I mean, you can tell they work overnight because you see that frame right there? That's a rollaway bed. That means people working overnight and trying to get their work done. That, that's a rollaway bed. And these are all their materials for all of their meetings on the floor. That basket is empty. What was in it? Look up here with these documents, all right? All of this, okay? It's fair game guess that someone took something. All right? This is ridiculous. And they, they pan the camera around here, all right? And they go out there, look at that. They did a thorough job of disrupting that office. And so I'm going to say that there should be a reporting of items that might be missing, not to say exactly what specifically was missing, but if there was anything out there that was missing at all, that's theft. And I don't think one needs to say whether or not it was classified. The simple fact that it's gone is damaged in and of itself. But there is a distinct possibility they could have taken something that was classified. That is horrifying, all right? And not only that, these folks are paid actors, okay? Paid actors. The media is so ridiculously uh, base today that they get caught up in what someone calls themselves and they reflect social media. It doesn't matter whether or not, not uh, someone is uh, uh, Antifa or QAnon. What matters is what they did and who paid them. All right, but to, the media actually aids, aids this. This doesn't matter, the media. They aid the game. So you're dealing with somebody that, in a number of cases I've seen, has a stage name, obviously. There's no previous track record in the name that you would normally expect. And yet, media organizations, Channel 7 in the Bay Area did this with 
uh, Victor Nabi. They just they didn't check him out. They just assumed he was who he said he was. He didn't live in Oakland at all. But they reported him as living in Oakland. This is the guy that was responsible for the hang then noose uh, harassment at Lake Merritt earlier the, last year, okay? It was sloppy. And this just goes on and on and on. It's ridiculous. Subscribe to Zinni62 and bookmark Oakland News now for more.